Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will be evaluating complex numbers and primarily example 9.3 with the uh, by showing the actual calculation on the uh, cal calculator and this is on the request of a student. So let's proceed and just to recall, uh, remember that for adding or subtracting we have to be in the rectangular mode and for multiplication, division, square, under root we have to be in polar mode. Now this is polar mode and this is rectangular mode and to use these modes we have to first press shift and then positive for polar and negative for rectangular mode. For example 9.3 these two parts we have to solve. Let's do the first part. Okay so this is uh, what we have to do, we have to add two polar quantities and as we have learned we cannot add polar quantities therefore we have to convert this into rectangular form and after converting we will get this value. Now how did we get this? Let's see with the help of the uh, calculator. So first we have to make sure that we are not in complex mode. mode. We have to be in composite mode, so 1 and now we have to convert from polar to rectangular so shift rectangular 40 angle 50 so 40 shift comma 50 bracket close so we will get 25.71 and y is 30.64 so that is what we have got here 25.71 and y 30.64 similarly for the second part shift rectangular 20 shift comma minus 30 make it close 17.32 17.32 and y is minus 10 so 17.32 y is j10 now we'll add the real parts and the imaginary parts so we come here now to take under root we have to convert this into polar form so after conversion into polar form, we should be getting this answer. So let's see how did we get it. So shift polar and the entry is 43.03. So 43.03 comma shift comma 20.64 20.64 six four bracket close so forty seven point seven two and angle is twenty five point six two five so that is what we have got forty seven point seven two angle twenty five point six two uh, six three now we cannot do or take under root uh, in the calculator in complex mode uh, or in polar form Therefore, we have to do it manually. So what we'll do, we'll take the under root of the magnitude and we'll divide the angle by 2. In case of under root, we divide by 2. And so this will be the answer. Now this is how you should be doing when you are learning it. But I'll tell you another technique which is very simple. For that we have to put your calculator in the complex mode. So let's do that. We change the mode, mode, 2 for complex. So we are now in complex mode. And we'll directly enter the values. So bracket, 40, 
angle 50. Now for angle we have to put this shift and this angle sign in, in the complex mode. Angle 50 plus next item is 20 angle minus 30 plus 20 shift angle minus 30 bracket close so the answer is 43.03 and 26.4 so this is what we have got 43.03 20.64 and we could go from here to directly to polar form for that what we have to do is we uh, have to press shift and complex r theta for that we have to press 3 and answer is 47.72 angle 25.3 so we are at this point and from here as we have done it same way we can get this answer so it is so easy in when we are operating in the complex mode now let's go to the part b of the question same technique will follow but since there is an addition here of two quantities, one is polar and other is rectangular, we have to convert this into polar first and also we have to take care of this what is called conjugate. So for addition we convert the rectangular into polar. So we will get this value. Let's see. Calculator is in complex mode. We have to go back to composite mode. So press 1. And now we can uh, convert 1030, 10 angle 30. So shift rectangular 10 shift comma minus 30. So we get 8.66 and angle minus 5. So 8.66 angle J or uh, uh, minus J5. And then we can add the real part and the imaginary part. So adding we get this. We have to also for multiplying we have to take care of the conjugate and we can do that by just changing the sign inside. So by changing the sign inside, this will become positive. Now for multiplying these two, we have to again convert them into polar form. So converting into polar, we will get this. And I hope by now you know how to do this. And then we will do the manual multiplication. So by multiplication and the angles are added, we get this value. And then we divide the magnitude and subtract this angle. So we get this value. So I am not going to repeat this, but what I will show is that if you go into complex mode, you can do this very conveniently. So let's do that first by using the calculator in complex mode. So we will change the mode to complex and now we will just enter the whole thing. So there is a numerator and denominator so we will select this. On the numerator we will enter 10 minus 30 so 10. Shift angle remember for comp uh, angle in complex we have a sign so minus 30 and plus bracket 3 
minus j4, so we will write it 4i, this is i sign for j, bracket close. So the numerator is entered, now we will go to the denominator from here, we are in denominator, bracket 2 plus j4, so 2 plus 4i, bracket close. Next bracket, we do not have a conjugate sign uh, in this calculator. Then what we will do is we will change it to uh, 3 plus J5. So we will write it 3 plus J5 or 5i. And now we go at the front, press equal sign. This answer is in rectangular form. We convert it into polar. So shift complex argument and angle 3 equal sign. So mine uh, 0 0.564 and angle 160. So 0 0.564 angle 160. So you, can, you saw how easily we can do this calculation. I hope you have been able to follow this. Thank you.